South Asia versus Southeast Asia versus East Asia, but there's no West Asia or North Asia representation in this video. Yeah, what the heck? Where's Mongolia going? What about Kazakhstan? Yeah, I mean, they could have had the Russia, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, North Asian trio right there. And I mean, they have Southeast Asia. What about Southwest Asia? Yeah. Northwest Asia. Is South East West Asia. What is Southwest Asia? Is that just the Indian Ocean? Yes. Okay. And like a few, there's a few islands, I think, out there, maybe. The Maldives? I don't think the Maldives would count, but maybe. C come on. The Maldives could be its own thing, Southwest Asia, because it's a little south and west of India. Yeah. No, why not? Yeah. Come on. But yeah, we're going to compare all these different regions. We've actually been to every single one of these regions, so we have a little insider knowledge about every single one. <laughs> I mean, we've been to almost every country in Southeast Asia, basically every country in East Asia. Yeah. Depending on how you define East Except Asia. For North but I would Korea? say we have been. Yeah, yeah. And a few countries in South Asia. So we have that knowledge. You can go check out all of our travels throughout those countries in the link in the description to our travel vlog channel, Trifate Lifestyle. Oh, yeah. All right, let's jump into it. And just another comparison video. Everyone's going to get super angry at this. It is a year old, um, so remember that. But uh, let's go. And the music, I played it. It's really annoying, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it drops like a... <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to just turn <clears throat> it off so you can listen to our beautiful voices. Eight countries, 11 countries, music. six countries. <laughs> Look at those popular. It's That's crazy. Oh, so big. That's almost half the world. Gosh. I think that is half the world. The density is insane, I mean, too. Aren't like 60% of people Asian? Yeah. Something like and that. I wouldn't say 10% are North and West Asian. So, yeah, it's over half, I think. You're underrepresenting I... the Mongolians. There's at least a billion Mongolians. By DNA. Yeah. That density is insane. This Big. thing is huge. Oh, it includes Mongolia and East Asia. Jeez, here's where the difference really comes. My gosh, look at that. Wow. 28, which is extremely young. 30, which is extremely young. And then 40, which is decently old. <laughs> and it's interesting that Southeast Asia has the smallest youth population. Yeah. It's uh very interesting. Didn't expect that. Back to this country. All right. Making cash East Asia a lot more. Interesting to see how close Southeast Asia is to South Asia for a lot of the cash stuff, even yeah. though it's so much smaller. 2,000, 5,000, 17,000. Okay. Big differences. I like this GD, GDP PPP per capita. That's a lot yeah. of P's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literacy rate. Oh, East Asia, Southeast Asia, right on top of each other. Interesting. Southeast Asia is considered high for HDI. British countries. Why? Every time they oh, include this yeah. thing. I don't know why it matters at all. I don't know what this represents. Number of billionaires. What does it even represent other than the number of billionaires? How much they like, can they brag about their economy, even though a yeah. lot of people are still poor and this has nothing to do with the average person. It's, it's basically how yeah. much of their money goes to the top. Yeah, yeah, true. Wealth inequality. Yeah. Those are some big cities. Yes, they are. How many of those have we been to? All of them, but... Delhi? And then I think they had Shanghai. Oh, yeah. We, know, we haven't been to these two. Oh, we oh, haven't been to Dhaka. We've been four. to... Uh, this one, this one. 
I mean, we're, we got two of the, we got the top in East Asia and Southeast Asia. Wow. That means we're the top. Oh, yeah. Military strength. Okay. Nice. A lot of people. A lot of battle tanks, aircrafts, and Navy. Whoa. We got a lot of rocket projectors in East Asia. Yeah. A lot of nukes. Crazy how, f like, the U.S. just like has a ton of aircraft carriers. I mean, not like a ton, a ton, but so much more than every other country. It's such an interesting thing. I wonder how much it costs to build an aircraft carrier. It's basically just like a floating city at that point. So probably yeah. a lot. If other countries don't have like a ton of them. Ah, Southeast Asia, no nukes. Guess who's dying first in the Holocaust? Oh, the, the nuke cost. <laughs> Actually, it's probably they'd probably die last because everyone would that has nukes would nuke each other. That's true. They just That's deal true. with the fallout after. Tallest statue. Interesting. Some tall ta statues. Uh, I feel some underrepresentation of West Asia in this one. Ignore that noise in the background. Longest river. This is some long rivers. We've participated in this one and this one, and I participated in this one slightly. Tried to avoid it, kind of, because I didn't want to get wet. Full participation in the other two, though. Yes. You can check out our vlogs of them. Heck yeah. On our vlog channel. Life expectancy. Okay. All right. Who's got the best famous dishes here? Oh my gosh, that noise. All right. Is it done? It's done. Best famous. Oh, oh no. Nope, cat meowing. Um, okay. So, I mean, samosa, biryani, butter chicken, fish curry. Mm -hmm. A lot of those. Very delicious. Nasi goreng. Amazing. Pho. Adobo. Pad thai. Mm. Jeez, we've had like almost all of these. Yeah, we have. Chicken duck. A tiny bit of sushi, kimchi, ramen. Dang, we have technically had all these. That's pretty impressive. Um, adobo is amazing. Nasi goreng is amazing. And I would say my top four are adobo, nasi goreng, sushi, and biryani. Is that a cop out answer? Yes. I would say mine are uh, nasi goreng, pad thai, samosa, and. Biryani. Or maybe butter chicken. Butter chicken's pretty good, but it, it sends yeah, you to the duker. Good. The duker room. And that's it. Oh. Wow. All right. That's the comparison. The, I mean, lots to learn there. And uh, we kind of knew a decent amount of it, but it's cool to see the numbers. Yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let us know all the wrong information in this thing and that and uh, the slightly higher numbers for each country. Like, wait, this said 1.2? It's actually 1.3 now. Actually, uh, the Democratic Republic of the Congo is currently constructing a aircraft carrier, so that should be a 2.2. Yeah, exactly. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Check out the travel vlog. Bye.